Hi guys, Luke John Harrison here. I want to welcome you all to the very first episode of Guilt Free Cooking. I'm going to come at you every single Wednesday with a brand new healthy recipe. Most of the recipes I'm going to be doing will be serving sort of four to six, because the best way for fat loss and the best way to, to stop yourself from cheating and going for the convenience option is to prepare your food. So it's best to make a big pan of something then you can sort of box it up in a Tupperware and then keep it for your week's meals. The best idea to like give you is really is on a Sunday you want to make enough for five or six meals so you have Monday to Friday's lunchtime meal that you can take to work in Tupperware so you're not so you're not sort of tempted to go to Greg's or you know Peter's the Bakers or anything like that. So you've got it there, ready to eat. You can eat it cold if need be, or you can warm it up. So today, first episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a big pan of really healthy, really tasty, guilt-free bolognese. Okay. So I'm going to show you the ingredients now. What we've got is we've got some organic mints. Okay, which is grass-fed mints. Now it's quite important that we go organic. The reason I say go organic is because the, one, the animals are treated so much better, they're fed on actual grass rather than cheap grain. Um, they're kept in better conditions, so the quality of your meat is better. It tastes better and the animals are more ethically treated, which is what I'm all about. Okay. Uh, on top of that, we have some cho one chopped red bell pepper. We've also got two red onions, which have just been finely chopped, a couple of cloves of garlic, some tomato puree, some chopped tomatoes, tin of chopped tomatoes, some mixed spice, some ground cinnamon, and some mild chilli powder. You can have some hot chilli powder if you prefer your meals a little bit more spicy, but personally I don't really like them that spicy. We've got coconut oil to fry in. We've also got a little bit of pink mountain sea salt, okay, um, and some fresh baby spinach. So, let's get cracking. Okay, so once we've chopped our veg, we want to just sort of prepare our garlic, guys. So the best way I can tell you to do this, unless you've got a garlic crusher, which is easier, of course, is to just chop the little ends off the garlic, like so. And then we can press the garlic down, which will sort of remove the skin a hell of a lot easier. Okay, there we go. Simple as. That's what we're going to do with our garlic. So we're just going to chop the garlic as finely as you can. Okay, don't worry if it's not too fine. It's just garlic adds a lot of flavour to the dish. Okay, and you don't need too much of it, so two cloves is more than enough. Right guys, now let's chop our veg up. We're gonna start to fry. Okay, we're gonna fry in coconut oil. We always tend to fry in coconut oil because it's a very good fat for the body, okay? The body digests it very, very well. It travels through your digestive system much better than any other fat, okay? It's a medium chain fatty acid and your body's more likely to use it instantly for energy rather than store it as fat. Okay, and it tastes gorgeous as well. So we're going to take about a tablespoon of this coconut oil and we're going to fry that off in the pan and melt it. Okay, so we've got about a tablespoon here. That's it there. I'm going to turn on the heat. About medium heat. And we're going to watch that melt down very quickly. Right, that coconut oil is nearly melted there. It took about 30 seconds. And so we're now going to enter all of our onion, all of our garlic, and all of our peppers. What we're going to do is we're just going to fry this around the pan, constantly stirring for about two or three minutes till it's softened, till it's brown. Right, that's been. About three minutes now, it's nice and soft, okay, so we're going to chop in our meat. We're just going to add our meat to the pan. There we go. So, there's our organic mince. And add that whole lot to the pan. Take off the bit at the bottom. And we're just going to separate this out. Separate all the mince. And brown it. So it's just brown. Should like to say it should take about a minute. Okay, so when they're almost browned off there, been going about a minute and a half. We're gonna now add our chopped tomatoes. Okay, so to this up, we're gonna add the whole tin into the mix, exactly like that. Also, straight on top, we're gonna add about a half a tube of tomato puree. You might think that's a lot, but it's not really considering this is gonna be making about say five or six portions. 
Okay, so we're going to squeeze this all in. It's really going to thicken the sauce out, give it a lot more flavour and texture. Okay. Okay, so now that all the tomatoes in, we're just going to give a quick mix in. Make sure it's coating the majority of the mince. Right, we're just going to add a little bit of Pink Mountain Sea Salt. This is really, really natural salt. It's the best salt you can get. Okay, add a little sprinkle of that. Okay, seasoning. We're going to add some mild chilli powder. It's up to you how much you put in, okay? I'm not going to say exact measurements here. You're just going to put in however much you feel like. I tend to just coat the lot. That's enough chilli powder. Same with the cinnamon. Okay, probably half as much cinnamon. Little sprinkle. Little sprinkle, the flavour, and the final is the mixed spice. This gives it a nice little tang, the flavour again, about the same amount as the cinnamon. And we're going to mix all of that in. And once it's all mixed in, we'll basically keep it over the medium heat, and we'll say about 10 minutes should do it. Right, so it's been sort of simmering on a medium heat for about eight minutes now so it looks more or less done which is good so all we're going to do now is take it off the heat and we're going to add a couple of big handfuls of baby spinach some more iron in there okay some more goodness more nutrition i just like to cut it up with my hands and mix it in okay has a nice color to it as well okay everybody likes something to actually look nice Okay, the brain likes something that looks nice that you put in your mouth. You wouldn't want it looking like cack. But it actually looks very nice. Okay, so we're just gonna hoi in and now do a little bit more. A little more. Remember this is gonna make about five meals, six meals, so there we go. We're just gonna basically mix this all in. Like so. Right guys, we're all done, we're gonna serve up now. So, what I've actually done is prepared some rice, some brown rice beforehand. Okay, I've just boiled that for about 15 minutes in some boiling water. So, I've tri just trained this morning, so I'm gonna have me, me post-workout carbs. I'm gonna have me rice, okay. I've made enough rice for sort of two or three portions, so I can add it with me bolognese for the next couple of days, okay. So, there we are. So rice, I'm going to add my bolognese now. There we go. And on top of that, I've just steamed some broccoli. Good little tip. Really, really easy. Deep bowl, tiny little bit of boiling water. Cover it with cling film. Stick a full head of broccoli in the mic for about four minutes. And you can just take it out. Plop it on. And that, my friends... It's a lovely, guilt-free meal. Next week, I'm going to show you guys how to make a, ch a very, very clean chicken korma. Okay, you don't want to miss that. See you next Wednesday, guys. Peace out.